everybody welcome back to my channel this is Carol I'm gonna jump right into this I've got a 16 by 20 canvas that I've already wet the back to make it sound like a drum so it tightens up and I have it on my big jumbo push pins okay I will I have been trying to do the Ceramac uh, galaxy pour thing that's been happening and I've been failing miserably. So I'm gonna jump right into it, and then if it all works out, I will give you the list of the colors and everything, and exactly what I did in the description. Just know that I'm using a gold, uh, phthalo blue, dioxazine purple, um, magenta, and uh, cobalt blue with some black to darken it, and white. And they're all either Liquitex or Premier, uh, except for the gold. I tried something different. It's called Lumineer. I'll have to, I'll spell it out in the description. Anyway, trying to get this effect. Don't know if I can do it because I don't necessarily have every uh, thing she uses. But we're going to try and see what happens. And if this fails miserably, you'll never see this anyway. Okay, so... Let's begin. A whole lot of white here. And this is mixed up with also, uh, besides being my Saks True White, it's also got, um, I didn't have the Deco Art Satin Enamel, I had Eggshell Enamel. I don't know if it matters. Could be the reason why it's not working, but we'll see. So I'm just going to do a straight pour. So do the white, the darkest blue, dioxazine purple, magenta. Oops. Oh, let's go a little bit of uh, this phthalo blue. Let's go back to some white. Oops. Then we'll try some gold. We'll try some white again. Purple with a really dark cobalt blue. Gold. It's gonna be more than enough color. I don't even need this full cup, but I'm using it. So let's see what happens. Purple. Drop of white. Here we go. Let me put the white down in the middle here. Move this off. Now we shall see. Here we go. I'm just going to pour it. 
straight pour, it's very full. We'll see what happens. There's no silicone in this either. Vines colors really taken over, and I made that the least. And the gold looks like it's disappeared again. I don't know what is up with that. Pretty color, so I can't believe how much of that dark wine came out. Just torching it up a bit. Ooh, that's cool. Look at all that. Once again. Where's that gold? All right, let's see what happens here. I think I need the white on the corners because there's more than I need here. at the top there and get this corner off. Woof! Back. Always bring it back to the middle before you go further or you can end up dumping the whole weight of your paint off. Woof! I had to get that was just too much too much of that wine color again I don't know where the gold is back to the center. I hope you can see that, that I'm doing. It's really cool in the middle here, the effect. I do like that. I mean, doesn't look exactly like uh, the galaxy pores, but this is definitely, it's coming out pretty neat. Just want to position it, get some uh, good positioning here.
trying to get down to this corner that I kicked off all that wine because I don't want all this white. Come on, go down just a little bit more and I'll come back. Okay, this is looking pretty pretty cool though. I'm digging the stony look. And the strange rings. Let me see what I'm doing here. I'm not talking much, but I concentrate. Just trying to get my composition now. I think this is pretty good. Come back this way just a little. Sorry. Let me see if you're still in view. You know what? I really like this. So, let me give it a torch. Okay, so let me give this a torch. Get these colors out of the way. Because I'm really, really liking this. It's a lot of blue. But that's okay. It's really uh, full of movement and a 3D look, which I really like. I didn't get the gold rocks, but I did get some cool rocks in here and here. Well, so let's see what's happened. I'm going to take my gloves off and uh, we'll torch. And then I'll bring you down once I see what happens here. Ooh. A lot of little white stuff coming up. Like I said, there's no silicone, but that's probably because I mixed with the enamel.
Let's see how it dries. Hopefully I didn't ruin it with uh, too much torching. See if those little white cells grow. And then we'll uh, come back in a few minutes, see what it's done, if anything. Okay, so it's been about an hour, and I am filming this with the overhead light off now. I think it's better, so let's go in and look at it up close. Some cool stuff going on, beautiful colors. I think the uh, dioxazine purple has popped out more along with a little of that uh, red, whiny red. Some really pretty um, waves and rock-like th things. Definitely the white dots, little cells. Some of them grew, but not a lot. So, you know, you could maybe say it's a little busy, but there's parts of it that I really, really like, especially all in here with the very 3D effect of the folds and the layers. So I think as it dries and the purple and the uh, thalo blue dry darker, those little white cells might actually look like they're floating on top. So I'm hoping that's the effect we get. So thanks for watching. I hope you like it and subscribe to my channel. Visit my Facebook page and my Etsy store and uh, information about the intro music down in the description along with the paints and everything else and all the links to everywhere that you need to go. So uh, I'm going to come back and try this again though and see if I can get more gold to show. Uh, that's the only thing I'm really disappointed. I don't know where that went. So we'll try it again in a bit. Bye for now. See you soon.